To quote a great ogre, you don't mess with the swamp. What up, guys, and welcome to the first musty comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know. I figured it out myself. What's up, guys? It's Dr. J here, and I am back once again with another review for you guys, but this time it's not a full on review. It is a first impressions video, and this is, of course, talking about, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, DC Universe's Swamp Thing, the latest original series to be added to the DC Universe app. And I gotta tell you, man, the more content they add to the app, the more I feel as though it was worth it, um, paying for this whole subscription service. Especially if you're a big DC fan, this is definitely worth checking out. And trust me, if you like horror and horror TV, this is definitely the show for you. Because man, is this show legitimately scary. I mean, wow. And some of you guys might have concerns, because like, you know, maybe you only saw Titans, and you were like, hey, you know, these shows look real low budget, the effects are kind of wonky, I don't know how I feel about this. And there's no way, if they can't do Starfire correctly, it, they can handle Swamp Thing. Well, allow me to alleviate your fears, my good patients, because they handle Swamp Thing perfectly. First off, they open up the episode showing you what time it is, man. The dark, foreboding, scary atmosphere, straight up death and carnage. It is just ridiculously crazy. And the way they set this up, right, it starts off kind of like one of those like epidemic horror movies where there's a patient zero and a lot of times the epidemic movies devolve into like zombie outbreak type things but this time it is legitimately just like an, a possible epidemic that's spreading all throughout this whole town in Louisiana, uh, Marais and Abby Arcane is a CDC pathologist who comes back to her own hometown in order to help deal with this new outbreak. And what's really interesting is there's clearly this mysterious kind of dark shadow around Monray, or whatever you call the town, because when Abby comes home, you can tell she's got this kind of checkered past and all these other different memories about the town and kind of her childhood and growing up here that we haven't learned yet because obviously it's just a pilot, but... We're definitely going to learn more about as time goes on. And eventually we are introduced to the scientist we all know and love, which is, of course, Alec Holland, a.k.a. Swamp Thing. But, of course, this is Alec Holland as a scientist, and Alec was hired to basically do tests around the swamp. And very much like Abby, he himself has a checkered past, and he's looking for a second chance, and studying this area might actually be his second chance, his way to be defined within the scientific community, but defined properly. So that's really cool. And he and Abby have, you know, a lot of stuff in common and really good, almost instant chemistry. It was really well done. Uh, I got to say, it's really great to see Crystal Reed again. I'm a huge fan of MTV's Teen Wolf show that came out, I want to say... 2011 or 2010 ish was season one i want to say it's 2011 because i started my channel in 2012 and i started with reviewing i want to say it was season two beginning of season two so like i was always a big fan of crystal reed and she does a great job as abby arcane she's witty she's smart strong wheels really fun I just really dig her character, and I can't wait to learn more about her. And like I said, her dynamic with Alec is really well done. And man, she has really great reaction faces. And one of the coolest things about Swamp Thing is a lot of the effects, they don't look like CGI. They look like they're like legit like puppets there, right? When these 
people are infected with whatever this epidemic is that obviously is originating from the swamp. Like, they are, like, having these thorns and vines coming out of their mouths. It looks genuinely scary. And these plants are, like, attacking them. It's, like, pretty nuts. And Crystal Reed's reactions are just fantastic. You really kind of feel the tension when all this stuff is about to go down. And seriously, the effects are so well done. And then I'm not going to spoil what happens at the end. But uh, let's just uh, wish old Swampy a little happy birthday there. That scene was so well done. And I am blown away by the attention to detail with these effects. It's really cool. Honestly, you guys, I cannot recommend this enough. It's a really good looking show very scary very nice and atmospheric everything that i personally was looking for in a swamp thing show and i cannot wait to continue from here on out now um i have no idea if it's going to be c dubs who is handling the reviews here on the channel but i believe it is because i'm doing individual reviews on my own uh personal channel Mr. J's reviews if you want to check those out uh, but I'll have those weekly on my main channel and I'm sure uh, C-dubs will handle the ones here on Comic Universe but you know I will definitely if more topics and stuff come up in regards to Swamp Thing or you guys want to hear more Swamp Thing content let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to provide that for you but as always, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to join the universe today. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate every single one of you guys who have joined and helped support us uh, throughout this whole journey. It's been great. I will leave linked a video YouTube's mysterious algorithm, things you might like, which I hope you do. And I will leave linked our latest upload so you get a taste of what the channel has to offer. So don't forget to Hulk smash that like button and subscribe button as well. And the notification bell so you get notified every time myself, DPZ, or C Dubs upload this new video. We also do a bunch of live streams in terms of like game content. I know C Dubs has been doing a lot lately. So those are fun. Those are probably the best ways you can interact with us live. You know, I pop into those occasionally when I have time. And of course, it's always fun to chat with you guys as well. So we got a whole wide variety of content, not just comics but also just general nerd culture, news, all that fun stuff. So like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the universe today. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from Mrs. Reviews for the Comic Universe, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time in the universe. Peace.